This is an example for NPV. Uh, what is NPV? NPV is a net present value of a future set of cash flows. Uh, to give you the example, I want to calculate whether investing, uh, spending money to do up an apartment is worth it if I'm going to get a, few, a future set of cash flows over three years of, say, 3,000 Rand. So, firstly, we need a couple of variables. We need the cost of cash. The cost of cash is what you would otherwise get if you put the money that you're going to put into that initial investment into, say, the bank, into funds, into another investment. I'll put this at 5% for now. Now, the cost of cash is on an annual basis. Now, I want to calculate on a future set of cash flows that will come in on a monthly basis, which means that I have to divide 5% by 12. Oops. That gives me 0.42% per month. The rent that I'll be taking in will be 3,000 Rand per month. Now I'm going to be uh, investing or spending 100,000 Rand at the beginning of the, uh, the investment cycle uh, to do up this apartment. Now I want to calculate over three years, so I need to drag this down to 36 months. And then I need to do the same. for each 3,000 Rand that's going to come in per month. So then we calculate NPV. Google Streets has a very convenient NPV function where we simply throw in our discount and the amount of, uh, well, in the, uh, the, the set of cells of our future cash, uh, cash flows. Now this comes out at 100,000 Rand. Now that's 100,000 Rand of just the pure uh, net present value of the future cash flows. This doesn't yet take into account the initial investment that we put in. So to do that, I simply need to deduct, or in this case, add uh, the uh, initial investment, which means that after three years, I get 97 Rand back. If I calculate at a 5% cost of uh, cash, and a 3,000 Rand rental amount per month. If I push this up to 4,000 Rand, then I'm getting in 33,000 Rand um, at the end of the investment cycle, which is all right. One thing you can see over here though, is as I put this up, then the NPV will drop because the cost of the cash that I'm using for that initial investment um, would have otherwise been worth more. One thing to note though, um, in financial textbooks, when NPV is calculated, they include this initial investment as um, a, a cash flow. So that's different to the way that Excel and uh, Google Spreadsheets calculates it, where you actually have to explicitly uh, deduct it from the NPV amount.